Hello and welcome to a new episode and a new video about narcissism. If you're wondering how to make a narcissist feel sadness and defeat, the simple and easiest solution is not to give them what they want. The essence of narcissism is the belief that one is the best, superior, and outstanding. The narcissist strongly believes that they are better than anyone else and must be treated in an exceptional and distinguished way. This is due to their strong sense of entitlement and the belief that they deserve everything good and special treatment. Thank you very much for your support. If you find this content helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for helping to share this message with those who can benefit from it. As we know, narcissists don't do anything to justify their abusive treatment of others, but they believe they deserve the right to do and say whatever they want just because they exist. In this episode, I will tell you how to make the narcissist sad and make them feel pain, while at the same time protecting yourself from harm. To understand the narcissist, you need to understand what's behind their mask. Narcissistic personality disorder is often felt by the individual without them realizing it. When the narcissist was born, they were just a normal person like anyone else. However, at some point in their life, they experienced emotional or physical neglect, abuse, or inappropriate glorification and magnification. This experience led to a shock and internal wound that makes the narcissist always feel intense shame, unworthiness, rejection, and abandonment. Narcissism is a feeling that this shock was very painful to the extent that he ignored what happened to him in order to avoid acknowledging its existence or that it actually happened. What happened is that the narcissist severed the connection with his internal entity or true self. The true self, my friends, is what binds us strongly to the essence of life and provides us with the ability to live life in a humane way. This is where empathy, mercy, love, and affection come into play. When the narcissist disowns his true self, a void and internal emptiness occur within him, which generates a certain amount of self-hatred, disgust, and repulsion. This is due to the narcissist's attempts to get rid of the negative phase in his life, during which he was treated abnormally, such as being exaggerated or belittled and marginalized, breaking his self-esteem and devaluing it even in front of himself. In order for the narcissist to overcome the amount of sadness, misery, pain, and despair within him, his ego inflates to protect himself from the reality he wants to avoid, which is that he is a flawed human being. To reach this point, the narcissist started to build a completely different personality, a fake personality in a fabricated reality, in order to be able to coexist with those around him. This fake personality does not have the ability to see itself as it truly is, whether good or bad. That is why it chose excellence and entitlement to be the basis of its existence, which exempts it from any responsibility for its behavior or mistakes, and deludes itself into believing that it is perfect and flawless, never making any mistakes. The real problem is that in order for this fake reality to exist and be realistic to him, he needs confirmation that he is right through the people around him and how he interacts with them. It is not enough for the narcissist to believe the illusion within him, but he needs the people around him to confirm this and make it real. It is not enough at all for the narcissist to believe the illusion within him, but he needs the people around him to confirm this and make it real. In addition to that, a narcissist will never tolerate anyone questioning their false reality in any way because it would be a real threat to all their illusions. Narcissistic personality disorder is a condition in which the narcissist lives in a completely different reality from you and me in order to maintain their psychological state. The narcissist would never allow their house of cards to collapse. Regardless of how much the narcissist avoids their deep internal wounds, there is still a huge void within them. The way the narcissist tries to alleviate the pain they feel and maintain their inflated false reality is through narcissistic supply and nourishment. Narcissistic supply essentially refers to the attention that is directed towards the narcissist, which makes them feel a high level of self-importance and confirms to them that they are powerful and extremely significant. Any attention, whether negative or positive, is highly beneficial to the narcissist because it reassures them of their importance. Some examples of narcissistic supply and nourishment include admiration, compliments, praise, the chaos they cause, fame, control over others, and even playing the victim. 
When a narcissist receives attention and admiration, there are people who provide it to them. However, even if there is a slight decrease in the amount of attention that the narcissist requires, they start to see themselves as worthless or having no impact. This leads them to criticize and devalue those around them and exhibit other severely abusive behaviors. The narcissist needs narcissistic supply to alleviate the pain within them, but despite that, this supply only temporarily relieves their suffering and does not address their psychological problems at all. Narcissists consider anyone around them as mere assistants who exist to provide them with the energy and supply they need to survive. They are exactly like vampires, but narcissists feed on energy and nourishment from their victims in order to sustain themselves. It is very important to note that narcissists lack empathy and are very skilled at presenting everything in a deceptive and highly professional manner. However, their sole purpose is to manipulate you. One of the satanic methods narcissists use to obtain their supply from their victims is by triggering any old wounds within themselves to ensure the strongest possible reaction. The narcissist expects a reaction such as screaming, crying, or ultimately, a breakdown from their victim. All of this is done so that the narcissist can feel a sense of power, superiority, and control over your emotions, extracting the maximum amount of energy from you, which narcissists thrive on. When you think about how to make a narcissist sad and experience pain, you need to completely stop feeding them until they starve from the lack of supply and realize that there is no other option for them but to seek their supply elsewhere. Depriving the narcissist of attention is crucial. As we know, narcissists thrive and are at their best when they receive attention because they consider it the lifeline for themselves. Positive attention for the narcissist comes in the form of admiration, compliments, and being the center of everyone's focus. When they talk about themselves, they feel like the center of the universe. Negative attention, on the other hand, is chaotic and problematic. The narcissist equally enjoys this type of attention because it makes them feel an incredible sense of power that is hard to believe. When the narcissist is capable of causing emotional reactions in others, they must be very important and the focus of everyone's attention. This confirms their existence. When the narcissist is deprived of attention or if it diminishes, they start creating problems and causing chaos out of nothing. They cannot bear the thought of drowning in themselves again because it reminds them of their true value and their self-hatred. In such moments, you will find the narcissist exploding and starting to throw away everything they don't want to feel on anyone else. The result of this behavior is that the victim starts focusing on the narcissist and giving them the attention they have been deprived of or lacked. A great way to hurt and cause pain to a narcissist is by not giving them any attention or care. There are no compliments, no admiration, and no reactions to their actions. It's like the gray rock method. The best way to stop giving the narcissist any attention, in case you still have to deal with them, is the gray rock method. This method involves being uninteresting and not giving the narcissist anything that attracts them or makes them interested in you to the point where they become bored and unable to elicit any reaction from you. Eventually, they will have to look for someone else other than you to get the supply they want, which is your reactions. This doesn't mean that they will leave you forever, but it's possible for the narcissist to try to come back to fulfill what they couldn't do with you initially, which is to break you and destroy you completely. Setting boundaries is another way to deal with a narcissist. They disregard other people's boundaries and believe that the rules and laws of the world don't apply to them because they feel they are the center of the universe and above everyone else. The only way to cut off any communication with the narcissist is to hold on to your boundaries and never allow them to cross them. Narcissists are accustomed to manipulating people in a way that makes them abandon their boundaries by making you completely surrender and conform to their desired way. They impose it on you. You should never expect any respect from a narcissistic person, especially regarding your needs or boundaries. The narcissist will do whatever they can to overpower you and your boundaries because, to them, it's proof of their superiority and control. Narcissists can penetrate your boundaries by manipulating you, your mind, and distorting events through lies and manipulation. They also make you feel guilty constantly and exploit your empathy against you. They also use false and unreal accusations against you, throwing baseless allegations. 
That's why it is very easy to understand why narcissists cannot live a normal life like other people. When they treat those around them in such a terrible way, people tend to surrender to them out of fear of their reactions and abusive behavior towards them. Despite all of this, if you focus on healing from the shock and trauma, you will find that the fear of what the narcissist can do to you starts to fade away. This is on the condition that you have become stronger within yourself. Even if the narcissist tries to threaten you, for example, when you are in a self-loving position instead of fear, you will find that whatever the narcissist does to you and explodes in anger as usual, it will not affect you at all. To make the narcissist feel sadness and pain, you need to set boundaries by loving and strengthening yourself. If you can do that, the narcissist will literally burn from within. Use the word, no. After setting boundaries, narcissists never like to hear the word, no. The word, no, is not in a narcissist's vocabulary, but they use it with you, not because they want someone else to use it. Narcissists are accustomed to having anyone held accountable for their actions bend to their will because they consider themselves a deity deserving of worship. The most effective way to make a narcissist sad and hurt is by not trading in their fabricated reality. It means getting used to saying no without trying to explain or defend yourself. As for your boundaries, you need to walk in your own way, not according to the narcissist's instructions. Although narcissists are willing to use any manipulative tactics in their arsenal to succeed in manipulating and controlling you, the stronger you are in your decisions, the more their madness increases. You must defeat the narcissist. The narcissist is the worst loser in the world. Their arrogance constantly whispers in their ear that they must win everything to maintain their throne. Moreover, the narcissist believes that they are entitled to being the best and can never understand that someone else may be better than them at anything. In simple terms, they are the best. The narcissist's superiority complex slips away and disappears when they find themselves in a situation that allows them to compete face to face with someone else in anything. The narcissist despises competition, even if it reaches a point where they compete with you in matters that you feel are not worth competing in at all. The narcissist can feel competition in things like who has a better family or better children, who is wealthier, who has a bigger house, or who receives more interaction on their social media posts. To make the narcissist sad and hurt, you need to surpass them in a particular aspect, whether it's a game, a hobby, a social situation, financial success, appearance, fame, or material wealth. Anything you do better than the narcissist, even if it's something simple, will make them hate themselves and experience immense pain. When a narcissist feels like they are losing, they begin to diminish the value of the other person, belittling them and pretending as if they haven't achieved anything. They overtly express anger, cast doubt on anything that contributed to the person's success, and mock them. The narcissist can never accept defeat at any level because it contradicts their self-perception of being exceptional and perfect. For a narcissist, acknowledging defeat implies admitting that their false self and personality are not entirely genuine, which is worse for them than death. Throughout your relationship with a narcissist, they make you feel constantly dependent on them, even though the reality is entirely different. When you rid yourself of a narcissist, your life takes a completely different shape, and you find many opportunities for success. You realize that the narcissist, with their presence in your life, was dragging you down and hindering your progress. All the beautiful things that could happen or that you could achieve were not possible as long as a narcissistic person was present in your life, draining your energy. Complete disconnection is the way to go. The narcissist always believes that if they can manipulate you emotionally, they still have control over you forever. Even if the narcissist ignores you, he will never see it as a permanent loss. He just puts you on a temporary shelf for future use. However, if you are the one who completely cuts off contact permanently, it becomes a terrible blow to the narcissist, making them feel immense sadness and unbearable pain. The narcissist always thinks they can manipulate you to let them back into your life, but allowing them to return doesn't mean their behavior will change or that they have learned a lesson from the cutoff. In reality, if you allow the narcissist back into your life, they will punish you even more severely for daring to distance yourself or consider leaving. But when you become unbreakable, 
meaning you have cut off contact and the narcissist is completely out of your life and out of your sphere of interest, that's when the narcissist experiences panic because they have lost complete control over you. Your rejection of the narcissist's attempts to regain control will drive them to a level of madness you can't imagine. The way to completely sever ties with the narcissist is by making sure they have no connection to your world whatsoever. The narcissist constantly craves attention and affirmation, whether positive or negative, as long as it occupies space in your thoughts and mind, providing them with a continuous supply. The most effective way to make the narcissist sad and in pain is to cut off any association with your world and life, having no impact on your personal traits. The worst nightmare for a narcissist is to feel that they have no influence over you or your life. This naturally happens when you stop caring about any narcissistic behavior and shift your focus onto yourself. When you withdraw your attention and energy from the narcissist, they may aggressively attempt to bring you back into the cycle of abuse. Without your attention and focus, the narcissist becomes irrelevant and unimportant to you. They no longer hold any significance in your life, and at that point, they may seek someone else to manipulate and mistreat. Your happiness and success are strange phenomena for the narcissist. It's incredibly bizarre when a narcissist genuinely believes that they are the reason for the success and happiness of others. The truth is entirely the opposite for a simple reason, having a narcissistic person in your life drains your energy, disrupts your life, hinders your progress, destroys your self-worth, and, once they disappear from your life, you find boundless energy, strength, and confidence. This empowerment allows you to achieve everything you once dreamed of. A powerful way to make the narcissist sad and in pain is to advance in your life, succeed, and find joy in everything you decide to pursue. The narcissist can never bear this because deep down, they know they desperately need you to live, and that's why the narcissist becomes extremely distressed by your rejection. Without any connection with the narcissist, they cannot experience the happiness you might feel, and they cannot genuinely succeed because, from within, they are empty and lack anything real to offer. Holding the narcissist accountable for their actions comes with consequences and responsibilities. The narcissist never likes to be confined or held accountable in any way, they don't adhere to rules, preferring to set and change them continuously based on their ever-shifting goals. If you want to make the narcissist profoundly sad and in pain, make them responsible for their actions. The narcissist will try to manipulate and gaslight you to avoid taking responsibility, but it's crucial not to yield or weaken in front of them. This doesn't mean you are punishing or holding the narcissist accountable for their actions. Instead, you're asserting your self-worth and strength, showing that you won't sacrifice yourself for their manipulative games. An example of holding them accountable is distancing yourself or cutting off communication if the narcissist speaks disrespectfully to you. You maintain distance if you feel the relationship, whether friendship or any other label, is not worthy due to their behavior. The narcissist never imagines any fault in their behavior because they completely lack a conscience and empathy to understand your feelings. In the narcissistic world, everything revolves around them, and the ultimate goal is always to fulfill their needs, regardless of you or anyone else. In the end, people are mere tools for the narcissist to use to satisfy their needs. Try to use facts because the narcissist never deals with truths, their existence is built entirely on lies and deception. When talking to a narcissist, you'll notice they spend a long time creating and promoting their own version of events, aiming to confuse you internally. The entire game of the narcissist is based on illusion, and there's nothing genuine in it. The terrible way to make the narcissist feel sadness and pain is to confront them and use undeniable facts. When you deal with a narcissist using facts that leave no room for manipulation or doubt, they literally crumble because they don't know how to handle a reality that contradicts their distorted worldview. This often leads to fits of anger due to their inability to challenge the irrefutable truths presented to them. Public humiliation is another effective method. Despite the narcissist projecting an image of unwavering self-confidence and perfection, exposing their faults openly shatters this facade. Losing or mocking a narcissist publicly is deeply humiliating for them, causing significant emotional wounds and a profound sense of injury. 
never expect a narcissist to take public humiliation lightly. While they may criticize others, diminish their value, create alternate scenarios, or mock them, they are likely seething with anger and attempting to retaliate against you for the humiliation they experienced. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. Additionally, if you have any comments or suggestions regarding the channel, please share them in the comments. If you have any advice or ideas for improving the channel, send them to me.